Oh, look at, you know, sometimes 3D printers are just so dang accurate. And it's lovely. Like, I just can't really like tell how great that is, but it's pretty freaking good. All right, the mission. The mission today is to try and 3D print a nice little uh, water pump for this cute little guy. This is just a 12 volt motor that you can pick up just about anywhere for nickels on the dime, whatever that means. Now, if you've been in the 3D printing scene for a while, you know that, well, PLA isn't exactly the most waterproof thing, especially when it's 3D printed. Now, it's not so much that it'll leak, it's more that it'll absorb water, though I have had instances where there'll just be little fine gaps in the 3D print that water can seep in and then leak out onto the floor and have a big mess everywhere. The goal for our 3D printed water pump housing is that one, it hopefully won't leak water because that's just asking for a mess and I've had those messes before and they're not fun. Hence, little Timmy's upcoming video of how his uh, water pump may or may not have leaked. Anyway, back to the point. We're gonna set up a little test, see if we can't possibly waterproof the PLA a little bit. And I actually spent two hours of my life doing this. Two hours which I'll never get back because as the results yielded, inconclusive. Basically I 3D printed three little PLA boxes. And then the first one I left as normal, the second one I coated it with some conformal coating which is meant for electronics, but I used it on PLA, shame on me. And then the third one I used some like RV waterproof sealant just to go around the box. Now it's 48 hours later since I did this test and none of them have leaked yet. Now my guess or assumption to this is that the container I made was just way too small. So there's absolutely no pressure within the actual container which isn't forcing any water out to see if there's actually any leaking. The actual design of the 3D printed water pump, I'm planning on just taking the dimensions of this little motor and then there's gonna be a sleeve that'll run down along the sides right here and I'll all along the edges sort of create a nice little seal. And then I'll put some silicone to kind of hold it there. Then there'll be the actual impeller, which will sit just right on the motor shaft. And on top of that, there'll be the housing. So it'll be three different pieces. Then I'm gonna hold it all together with four M2 bolts. These are our 3D printed parts. Just came off the printer a hot minute ago. They're not looking too shabby. We got our nice little impeller. The only thing I'm worried about this impeller, and I'm not sure if you can see it, is how thin I made these little blades. Um, hopefully those don't break off at super high speeds, but I think I might have to plan on making them a little bit bigger. Uh, in terms of the actual top, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to go ahead and dig out all that support filament, so that's always a great time. I am digging this new camera setup. Just makes it so much easier to get the point across. Oh, there once was a 3D printed water pump. I have a feeling it's gonna leak a little. It looks pretty porous. There's the top. <laughs> you know, this is honestly one of the best things I have ever bought and it's great for keeping your desk or whatever it is clean. I use this pretty much multiple times a day. All right, initial fitment test and it doesn't fit. Is this overkill? Yes, will it work? Hopefully. Did it work? No. Oh, that works like a dream. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but it's fit. We did just break our motor though. Oh, bad. Shame on me. Hopefully that still works. Let's see if it still works. Oh, it definitely works. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. Power, power cables, probably close the pocket knife. Also, if you're curious about this cute little guy, this is Baby Wally 1.0, and there is an upcoming future video on how to build your own. It is fully robotic, can drive itself around, and all right, that is enough of my future video plug. But just so you know, it's gonna be awesome. I put so much time into that, it's embarrassing. Ooh. How to drill right into your finger, 101. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. If I didn't know any better, and I don't know better, so. I'm gonna say that we just go ahead and give this a try. I think it's gonna be interesting. Alrighty, I have returned with a full belly of bacon, which, don't eat bacon for lunch, that's bad, but hey, it was quick and easy. 
and now back after it. So for the actual tubing that's gonna be porting the water to and from the pump, I'm using this nice eight millimeter tubing on the outer diameter, and it has an inner diameter of four and a half-ish. Oh, look at, you know, sometimes 3D printers are just so dang accurate. And it's lovely. Like, I just can't really like, tell how great that is, but it's pretty freaking good. Got our other piece of tube. Ugh. Okay, well, as this slowly drips onto my desk. Ah, I want to test it. But it's not being very nice. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of water flow going. Okay, so that was a success. I'm gonna count that as a success. But first, before we're officially done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and take this all back apart. I'm actually gonna put silicone on the inside to hopefully seal it up so there's not water seeping out. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's actually water like beating out of this top layer right here. Hence, PLA not being porous, or PLA being porous and letting the water through. And I'm also gonna put a bead of sealant right around this ceiling edge right here and see if we can't fix this issue. All right, I'm back with our 3D printed water pump. Looks like it's pretty much ready to go. Hmm. Okay, so this thing is definitely self-priming. And while I have a lot... Oh, crap. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your 3D printed water pump doing its best. It is slowly leaking and dying. But that's a pretty good amount of water flow we've got going there. Not too bad. I'm sure if I put some more silicone around the inside of the water pump, it wouldn't be leaking like that. All right, well, hopefully this was helpful to you in some way or another. If you need to make a 3D printed water pump, just make sure that you really seal up those edges with uh, some silicone or maybe some conformal coating, whatever it is you want to use. And uh, you'll have yourself a dandy little piece of equipment for your next project.